In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the nonlinear fitting tool in Origin, NL Fit. This tutorial will show you how to fit with a built in fitting function, how to change NL Fit settings and use Recalculate, and how to define and fit some data with a user defined function. Let's start with some simple Gaussian data to show fitting with a built-in function. First, bring up the nonlinear fitting dialog, or NL fit. Once the dialog is up, you'll begin by selecting a fitting function. Here we will select Gauss, which is one parameterization of a Gaussian fitting function. Notice that built-in functions have their parameters initialized, and so values are there automatically. Also notice that the curve initially made by the parameters is also presented on a preview graph. The residuals, that is the difference between the data and the fitted curve, is also shown on the residuals tab in NL Fit. If we now fit till convergence, notice a message that shows convergence was achieved is presented, as are the final values, errors, and dependencies of the parameters. Clicking OK presents a table on the graph of the final parameters and also generates a report sheet. Selecting change parameters from the lock icon on the graph brings up NL fit again so that changes can be made. You can, for instance, fix the value of a given parameter to your known conditions. And then redo the fit based on that new parameter. The table and the fit report will update automatically when you press OK. Notice a zero error when a parameter is fixed. Now we will fit using a user defined function. The function given in the notes window is the one we will use. We start by selecting the fitting function builder from the tools menu. We'll select create a new fitting function. We will choose the expression type of function, since we can fit the function all in one line of code, and we will rename the function. Define any parameters as necessary, separated by commas, and go to the next page. You can enter in any initial values you choose. Failing to enter in initial values will lead Origin to use a value of 1 for the initial value of all parameters. Now we copy the equation form, enter it in the box, press the running person icon to calculate a value for a given value of x, 
this will tell you if your function is at least producing a believable value. So we now have a fitting function defined. We can then go to nlfit again, open the dialog, and now instead of a built-in function, we can go to the user-defined category, or whatever category you put your new function in, and select the function you defined. Going to the parameters tab, we can ensure that the initial values we entered are showing up. We may proceed one iteration at a time or fit till convergence. Notice that one iteration got the curve somewhat closer to the final fit value. Another iteration updates the parameters again. The curve gets closer to a good fit. And now we will fit till convergence. And notice that a good fit has been achieved and a similar message to previous is presented in the messages log. We can now press OK to complete the fit, get our parameters table on the graph, and produce a report sheet in the worksheet. Realize that you may edit any of the report sheet graphs by double clicking. This presents you a freestanding graph which you can double click and get plot details as you would with any origin graph. We will now change the symbol size, the symbol color, apply those changes, notice the update. And then you can simply close the graph and the edits are updated in the report sheet. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.